Can cancer be cured? This is a question I'm asked most frequently, and the answer would surprise you. But before I answer your question, I would like to share a top secret with you. It's a secret that no other doctor is going to tell you, not even if you ask them. But I am going to share it with you. Such is the taboo around this fact that even doctors avoid discussing it among themselves. Don't get me wrong, the medical community knows about it, uh, but we just don't want to talk about it. Doctors, nurses, scientists, everyone tries to ignore it. It's like that metaphorical elephant in the room and nobody wants to pay attention to it because they're scared of it. And sharing this secret with you it won't make me very popular among my medical community. And that's an understatement. But you know what? I will disclose it to you, even if it upsets others. For two reasons. Number one, you deserve to know the truth. And number two, I'm no blue-eyed boy of my profession anyways. It's probably because I'm brown-eyed. So here goes nothing. One of the most well-kept secrets of the medical profession just for you. Modern medical science does not cure most diseases. In fact, it hardly cures any. Let me give you examples. But before I give examples, I'd like to tell you one thing. Do not get me wrong. We are excellent at diagnosis. We are very good at treating diseases. It's only when it comes to curing them, our rates are mostly mm, somewhere around 0%. Diabetes is a good example. Very good treatment and control. Many, many years you can control it. Cure rate zero. Heart failure, same story. Good treatment, good control. Cure rate, unfortunately, 0%. Arthritis, reasonably good treatment and control. Cure rate, once again, 0%. It doesn't sound too good, does it? But we are good at treating other diseases. So what do we cure? We are good at curing many infections, especially bacteria, fungi, and parasite. Our record with viruses is poor. We've just managed to cure hepatitis C virus in the last 5-10 years. Even the common cold virus remains uncured. But there's another type of disease which we are very good at curing. And you will be pleasantly surprised. So, what's the second category of disease that we are reasonably good at curing? We are pretty good at curing many cancers. Yep, it comes to most as a shock. And this is a secret of the medical profession I want you to share with everyone, anyone who would be interested. Even if they're not interested, let them know. We are really good at curing many cancers and things are getting better. Let me give you examples. Cancer of the testes, big success story, can be cured more than 95% of the time when detected early. Even when you find it late, it's spread to other parts of the body like lungs, cure rate is 73%. Cure, completely getting rid of it. That's pretty good, 95% and 73%. Compare it to 0% for diabetes and heart disease, that's a pretty good percentage. And the story doesn't stop here. Cancer of the prostate, for example, detected in early stages, cure rates are more than 90%. Even later stages, when it is spread to other parts of the body, could be treated very well and you can live for more than 10 years, 70% of the time. So 70% of the patients are alive after 10 years of diagnosis with treatment. Let's compare it to heart failure. Cure rate, 0%. Five-year survival, 50%. 10-year survival, only 25% with treatment. And compared to prostate cancer, patients with cancer do better. One more example, breast cancer. Detected early, cure rates are up to 90%. 10 years survival more than 80% with treatment, even when cancer has recurred and has spread. Compare it to brain stroke, CVA we call it, cure it 0%. One month, okay, one month survival, 64%. One year survival, 60%. Five year survival, 31%. More chances of being alive at 10 years with breast cancer than being alive after one month of having a stroke. 
what are the secrets to curing cancer? Some cancers you cure and others you can't. Why is this big difference? There are two secrets. Number one, don't get cancer. I am sorry. Sounds like a bad joke. It's not. Trust me. 50% of cancers can be prevented. You can stop them from happening. And that is the message we need to get across, you and me together. The second secret to curing cancer successfully, catch it early. And it's not difficult. Many cancers can be detected years, not months, not weeks, years before they become incurable. And that gives us a big window of opportunity to treat them and to cure them. Now, you remember the last talk we had, and if you don't remember, please have a listen to it. What is cancer? A small video, a few minutes. We talked about cancer developing, normal cells develop into normal cells. Sometimes normal cells become abnormal, genetic damage, and they go into this lump of tissue, does no good to the body, just eats and grows and spreads, and we call it a cancer. That does not happen overnight. It takes years. For some cancers, it can take more than 10 years. And that is a long period where we can detect it, we can prevent it, we can treat it, and we can cure it. And that should be the aim of medical sciences. I think this is one area where we are lacking progress in. We are always looking at that big lump in the end and trying to treat it. And there's nothing wrong in doing that if that happens. And we made great strides, achieved huge success in better treatments of controlling cancers. Some of the cancers have become like diabetes and heart disease and people can take tablets and medication and survive for years and years on. But the main aim should be to prevent it and to cure it. And it can be done. My name is Dr. Khan. I am a cancer specialist working in the England, and it is my aim in life to help people get educated about cancer so they can prevent, treat, and cure it. And that's where Killing Cancer Kindly with Dr. Khan comes in. I'd like to invite you to be a part of this mission so we can prevent, treat, and cure cancer. Thank you very much for listening. I'm very grateful for your time. Please spread the message, share it with as many people as possible. I would be uploading more videos telling you more about cancer, its prevention, its cure, its treatment, and how to avoid it. Till then, I would like to take your permission and leave you with this thought that together we can prevent 50% of the cancers from happening in the first place. So may you and your loved ones stay healthy and live long. Goodbye till we meet again.